something to touch it. Dad, what's wrong with the telly? Hello, London. Here's the warning for you. Instead of keep sort of teaching kids about two and two and that, I think you should be asked more questions. Bloody hell. That make them think rather than something that has just got an answer. No, just like, you know, like I read the other day, um, and someone sent it in on email, like, how does a, a, a dishwasher that's been found on Mars go home and write about it? How did that happen? But we're always sending, like, rubbish out there and that. It's no, but the same way that fella who, I don't know, was it two Christmases ago when he was messing about saying I can get stuff to Mars and all that, um, it didn't really get there, I don't think, but it crash landed. It's just all like that probe thing is still there, rotting away. But anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to go into that, but all I'm saying is teach kids things about just sort of saying to them, all right then, here's a different question. Would it be better um, to have dinosaurs knocking about now whilst we're here? When you think about it, there's a population problem. There's too many of us. We're saving people all the time. No one's allowed to get injured anymore. You've got to you know, wear a helmet when you're on a bike. Loads of people are living longer. Just, just, you know, just sort of random and that, because I, I don't know, I mean, I'm not wishing that anyone I know dies and that, but all I'm saying is, I don't know anyone who's died for ages. Whereas if a dinosaur was knocking about, then it is survival of the fittest. We've lost all that now. You don't even have to be fit to survive. You just keep sticking a new lung on you. I don't know what to say, really. Three minutes. So the this battle of life. fucking life. All comes down to today. I'm with you. We deal. I don't see. Are we gonna crumble? Yeah, by inch. Play by play. Till we're, we're finished. We're in now, right now, guys. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. Come on, Jish. At that time. No, I can't do it for you. I'm too old. I look around, I see these young faces, and I think, I mean, I made every wrong choice of age mom can make. make. And, uh, I pissed away all my money, believe it or not. I chased Peace. off anyone who's ever loved me. And lately, I can't even stand the face I see in the mirror. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. That's 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 part of life. But you learn that when you start losing stuff. I'm not gonna pretend. <laughs> I can see you're not. You know, Katie once told Seventeen Katie magazine. Once told Katie 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 once told I've been to hospital. I was rushed to hospital. Right, emergency and that. Had a uh, tube put on my knob. So, shouldn't really be here, to be honest, doing this. He said rest. Yeah. But, but, we're almost not letting people die naturally anymore, are we? They're always bodging stuff up. And that's what I'm saying. Frank peacefully died in his sleep. No, he died on the operating table whilst we were putting in a new lung. They never, they don't die naturally anymore. Just sometimes people have to die, don't they? There was a fella outside our house. We had a lamp post. He had a helmet on, but his head come on. His head was in great condition. It's just not attached to his body. Yeah, I nearly died once, didn't I? On a, uh, on an iPod. 
stone, sort of, what's the same, stone cold bed. Well, you, know, you can't, you know, you can, can you put a uh, lipstick on a pig. It's still a pig. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be a god. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or control anyone. You should like well everyone if possible. You gay fellas. Black, blow white. We all want to help one another human being in this world like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want hate and desire one another. And in this world is room for everyone and the earth is rich. I can provide for everyone. A way of life can be free and beautiful. But we have lost the way. Great as poison men souls. As a rich on the world with hate. As goose cuts into misery and bloodshed. We have invented speed, but we have shot ourselves in. Machine that gives up on us as blessed one. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our clever, hard and thumbs kind. We think too much and it feels too little. More the machine. We need humanity. The more cleverness. We need kindness and happiness. Without these qualities, life will be violence, and all will be lost. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Ah, all right. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Stop doing that. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hey, put me down. Fuck. Sleepy. Fuck. 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 Pop up. Doctor. Fuck. I'm plot. Fuck. Fuck. I'm trailer. Fuck. Fuck. Everybody. Fuck you. All. If you doubt me, I'm a piece of fucking white trash. I say it proudly. Fuck this battle. Don't want to win. I'm out. Happy. Here, tell these people something they don't know about me. My name is Bond. James Bond. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. When I was younger, there was this girl knocking about who, you know, she was, she was quite good looking, everybody liked. And uh, my mate, he really liked her. And uh, I, I didn't sort of ask her out on that, but she just sort of took a shine to me and stuff. And uh, didn't really go out with her properly. It's at, at that age where going out with someone is just like sort of going, all right, in the morning, do you know what I mean? You just sort of <laughs> nod your head and that. They were playing spin the bottle and she started crying and everyone's going, Carl, what are you doing? That's meant to be your girlfriend and that. You should be sort of saying, oh, I'm sorry, and giving her a hug and all that, and saying, it'll be all right, we'll sort the dress out. I said, oh, I can't be dealing with this. So I go to the toilet, right, and uh, this lad who fancies her comes in and goes, you're out of order, you know. I say, what are you on about? I just sort of said, look, why are you getting involved? I happened to push his head down, and, and his tooth hit the sink, and it chipped, and what yeah. have you. After that, like, I, I sort of left there and stuff, and we had to go into assembly, uh, and there was a copper in there doing some presentation, saying, "Listen, kids, you know, don't get into trouble, because we're out there and we'll get you, right?" So, sort of try to teach the kids young, not to get into any trouble and stuff. So I'm sat in the assembly room, thinking, "Oh God, there's a copper here talking, and it, like my mate's going to come in in a minute, like with a chipped tooth and everything." That's what kind of happened. I mean, the, the coppers didn't get involved. That's a warning. Give us your money.
that's really hot. It's too hot. I've had my ups and downs, my fair share of bumpy roads and heavy winds. That's what made me what I am today. Now I stand there before you. What you see is someone crafted to perfection. A pair of legs made to defy the law of physics. On a mindset to master the most epic of splits. Welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a bit depressing. Everybody out of work or scared or losing their job. The dollar bag is nickels worth. Banks going to boss shop, keep, us, keep a gun under the counter. Pockets are running wild in the street. There's no body anywhere seems to know what to do. And there's no end to it. We know. Yeah. It is unfit to breathe and our food. It is unfit to eat. We suck watching our TV while some local newscast tells us that today. If we had 15 home besides 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be, we know things are bad or worse than the bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy. We don't go out anymore. We sit in your house, and slowly, in the world, we're living in is getting smaller, and all we're saying is, please, at least leave us alone in our living room, let me have my toaster, and my TV, Mimstay, melted radios, and I'll say anything, just leave us alone, well I'm not gonna leave you alone, I want you to get mad, I don't wanna protest, I don't want you tonight, I don't want you tonight, in Congress members, I wouldn't know what, I'll tell you, right, I don't know what to do without the depressed and the Russian, and the Russian, and the crime in the street, all I know is that first, you've got to get mad, You've got to say, I'm a human being, god damn it. My life has value. So, I want you to get up now. I want you all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window. Open it and stick your head out and yell. I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. No, oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Are you having a laugh? Are you having a laugh? You are having a laugh, aren't you? 
<laughs> what are you doing? No, no. No, you're fucking up, you kid. Yes, I won't. Why are there copies of the style section on the plate? Do you, do you have a dog? A little chow or something? <laughs> no, I won't. Is that a raincoat? Yeah, it is. In 87. Keep British Bliss. For the most accomplished album. I think it's under Spirit's Master. Pieces. It's hit to it squared. A song so catchy. Most people probably don't listen to the it. lyrics, but they should. Because it's not just about the pleasure of conformity and the importance of value. It's also a personal statement about the bang itself. Hey, Paul. Uh. Try getting the rest of the I don't see it now. Fucking <laughs> stupid. Bastard. <laughs> you fucking bastard. What do you want, John? Coffee? Just to help. Ah, all right. I was thinking the other day about, um, you know, your body and everything, because it is amazing, isn't it? How it works. Does the brain control you, or are you controlling the brain? Um, at this point, it's natural, but, I, you know, if you'd asked me in the first Iron Man, I'd be like, that's me. And now I'm realising, I've realised that, uh, well, it's, of course it's not. You know, I'm not saying that I'm I'm such a fantasist that I felt like I was Tony Stark, but I felt like it was my persona. I'd be more confident if I had someone else's body, because if anyone dissed it, I can go, oh, no, it's bad, isn't it? What I mean is, say if um, you're wandering about, uh, for some for some reason, there's an incident. You have to take your top off and that, and everyone's looking at you, right? And you're a bit sort of, you know, you haven't got the muscles and that, you haven't got the six pack, uh, which isn't that nice anyway. I don't know why that's become a nice thing, really, seeing the insides of you. Sometimes you can't help it because it's been hot, and it's, like you say, there's people walking about with vests on and that. So, anyway, what I'm saying is, say if some incident happened, I'm walking about with my top off. Girls are laughing at me, right? At least I don't have to claim. Ownership. Do you know what I mean? Uh, sure. <laughs> but it's hard to turn a sort of a blind eye to stuff like that because you know that's something, you know, you're witnessing death. And if you can save something, you do, don't you? You do your bit. And at night, I'd sort of think, have they learnt the lesson or will they be back and will they be dead in here tomorrow? But if they can get an extra day, I've done my bit. I can't do more than that. I'm on holiday. Do your bit. I'm lucky enough to see the world. Do your bit. I did my bit. Um, are we promoting a movie? Sometimes I feel frustrated when I don't. I can't get my point across. You're annoyed with me because I can't explain what I mean. I don't want to be annoying myself. Does that make sense? Your foot's I mean, starting to jump a little bit. You better get to your next question. When I was a kid, Pac-Man was a massive game. Kids watching this, I go, "What's Pac-Man?" But it's a game in it where there's a man eating like that and um, it makes its way around a maze eating. Um... In fact, here's a little, here, this is interesting. Do you, can you remember the noise of Pac-Man as it's going round? Put your finger in your ear and push it in and out. That's what it's based on. But anyway, so Pac-Man is just being chased about by ghosts and you've got to run away from the ghost, don't you? And, you know, that's, that's kind of his life and you get three lives. But when I was a kid, I typed in a code that meant I'd have everlasting lives. And even then, I remember, I played it for, I don't know, 45 minutes before I got bored of endless amount of lives. But that was a point, I think, when it made me realise that living forever isn't all that. Because for Pac-Man, I think his most happiest time was when the game was over. He was, wasn't being chased anymore. His whole life was spent being chased, a bit like life's are for us in a way, and it? it's always someone mithering you for something, you know, and, and he got in the corner and he had that tablet and that made him happy for, you know, a few seconds. And again, that's like human life, innit? You might sort of have holiday or something and that lasts a week and then it runs out and then you're back to being chased about. And it was that fact that, you know, he was, he was lasting forever. That's, I worked it out then. I'm sorry, I, I really don't, uh, what are we doing? But what, but what I mean is, 
I don't know what I mean. Right. Okay, okay. Bye. Let me ask you guys a question. Shoot. What if there were no tomorrow? And subtle, but in even many ways more profoundly devastating, is the lasting damage to the survivors' will to rebuild and remain in the area. The destruction of the spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Sense has taken one to try to test me. It is liver with some fiber beans in the nice keep empty. I knew you did. You planted that story about the chicken. You didn't plant the story about the chicken. What's he talking about? You had to use animal cruelty. Seriously, what the hell's the chicken? And I bet what you hated the most is that they identified me as a co-founder of Facebook. Which I am. You better blow it up. Oh, I'm not coming back to 30%. I'm coming back for everything. I was landing seven on rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll now the wall speed. I'm on. Okay. Go. Dear, was my brother Charlie. You should look after me a little bit. You should take a care of it just a little bit so I won't have to tip them dimes for the show and money. I had some bets down for you. You saw some money. Don't understand. I could have class. I could have been content. I could have been somebody. Instead of bum. Which is what I am. Let's face it. Pick it fine. Pick it fine. Punish me. With brutality. Talk to me. Only so you can see. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's been going on? Tell me. So what's going on? In case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.